Hey everyone, I'm Brandon from Nagios and welcome back to our channel. Today we have an exciting topic to dive into today, leveraging the power of reports and graphs in Nagios XI. Now, if you manage any type of IT infrastructure, these reports and graphs functions in Nagios XI are absolutely game-changing and will help you make data-driven decisions. Now, let's just go ahead and get started. With its user-friendly interface and advanced monitoring capabilities, Nagios XI helps you detect issues, troubleshoot problems, and ensure the stability of your entire infrastructure. One of the ways you can accomplish these things is through its reporting module. Reports offer an abundance of information that is incredibly valuable to IT professionals and decision makers. You can generate reports on host and services status, downtime analysis, SLA compliance, top end statistics, and much more. These reports are, provide a clear and concise overview of your infrastructure's performance, helping you make data-driven decisions. The first report we will look at is Capacity Planning, an Enterprise Edition feature of Nagios XI. With Capacity Planning, you can predict the future resource utilization based on historical data from your various hosts. This can be useful for identifying potential bottlenecks, which allow you to develop contingencies. If you're interested in learning how to use capacity planning, please check out the video in the description below. A brief overview, at the top here under host, you can select a host. We'll select this one at random and click run. As you can see here, we have historical data here in the yellow that XI has observed over a given period of time, which we can also select that right here as well. Here in this blue gray type of color over here on the right hand side is the prediction that XI is making based on the historical data it gathered within its week period. The next report that we will look at is the SLA report, which is another feature in the enterprise edition of Nagios XI. SLA compliance is a critical aspect of capacity planning and IT infrastructure management. This ensures organizations meet their commitments to customers, clients, and stakeholders by delivering services within agreed upon performance parameters. With SLA reporting, both internal IT teams and external service providers are held accountable for their performance. Utilizing transparent reporting ensures that all parties are aware of their responsibilities and encourages a culture of reliability and responsibility. At the top, we can select the period on which we want our SLA report to be generated within. We can also select which host, host group, or services we would like to take a look at. At random, we will select this host here and click Run. As you can see, this device is only compliant in one area because its service data is non-existent. If we were to select another host and click Run, we can see that this one is completely SLA compliant. The final report we will look at is the Executive Summary. With the executive summary, you can provide executives and stakeholders with a concise and high-level overview of your IT infrastructure's health and performance. Instead of being overwhelmed with lots of information, this report condenses technical data into easily understandable key performance indicators, KPIs, and critical metrics such as average host availability, so that decision makers can quickly grasp the current state of the organization's IT environment. As you can see here, we have two graphs, and we have the host average availability here, on the right, we have the service availability right here. We also have our top alert producers, which has the name of the host and how many alerts they've been creating and when the last alert they generated was. And here at the bottom, we have the latest alerts dialog box here. We have various hosts in the hosts column here, as well as their alerts that they are generating here on the right. In the middle column, we have when this alert was generated. And that wraps up our video for today. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any more questions, please visit support.nagios.com for more great documentation. Also, be sure to stop by our YouTube channel for some more amazing content. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.